You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton. I have Bob Saltzman, who is the executive director of the Brockton High School Alumni Association. Welcome. Uh, thank you. My I had pleasure, the pleasure to be here. Of meeting you a couple of times before now, and we talked about coming on TV to promote it. Yeah. Um, I am a proud Brockton High School al alumnus. Mm -hmm. Alumnus. Oh, very good. Okay, yes. 1979. So I'm giving away my age. Yeah. It'd be close to 40 years yep. that I've been out of there. But Brockton High made me, shaped me, formed me. Uh, I was involved with the TV studio up there, the radio station, the newspaper, all of that. I kind of wanted to spend more time there than I spent in class, <laughs> right. but it launched my career, it, yeah. basically. So there are 60,000 of us, something like that? Absolutely. That um, I was hired by the school system and the Alumni Association mm -hmm. to look at the situation at Brockton High. The, we think there are 60,000 graduates spread out over all 50 states. Yep. So uh, we are building a database and we are going to be able to start reaching out to the alumni. The Alumni Association has been in existence since 2006. Right. And they have been providing tens of thousands of dollars in scholarship awards to graduating seniors, have been honoring some very successful graduates for professional achievement and service to the community. But we want to expand what we're doing to engage more of our graduates. Mm -hmm. uh, with 60,000 alumni, that is such a potential resource well, I gotta, for this city. I gotta tell you, I spanned three colleges. I left here and I went to George Washington. That didn't work out. I came back and went to Stonehill a year and a half. Loved it, mm -hmm. but didn't have my major. Communications is what I picked, and I also had political science. They had that, but not communications. And then I ended up at University of Miami. But I have three right. alumni directories sitting on my shelf. Yes. I have one from each one of the schools. Stonehill welcomes you as an alumnus as long as you attended it. Mm -hmm. George Washington, I was there for a semester. I, 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 I still am in touch with some of the people that I went to school with. Mm -hmm. And definitely U University of Miami, even though they don't do reunions and we don't go there, it's like a five-year deal and they get a whole bunch of classes together. It's kind of bizarre. I've, I've only missed one of my high school reunions. And each school, each mm -hmm. class kind of does their own thing. So now if there's an right. alumni association very active and together, mm -hmm. it's kind of, it would be my hope as someone who graduated from there that it wouldn't just be the class officers that organize each class reunion. It might have a little coordination with an alumni group. We plan on that. My, my career has been based on building national programs at the university level. Mm -hmm. And I've always been jealous of the high schools because on a big campus, students don't know each other. Right. And they don't know each other then, they're not gonna know each other years later. Whereas here in Brockton, people have gone to school with each other for years. They're connected. A reunion is basically reuniting with friends. Oh, absolutely. Right now, there's a class of 76, which was a few years before me. Mm -hmm. And they're doing something right around Thanksgiving time. And they're inviting 76, 77, 78, 79, all the yeah. way up to, I think, 85. And mm -hmm. then they might be going back a little bit before. Like my older brother was 71 because he was right. eight years older than me. My younger brother was five years younger than me. But I knew people in classes. I ran for student government. Mm -hmm. So when you ran for student government at Brockton High, not only did you go on closed circuit TV and do, to do the broadcast because you couldn't fit everyone in the auditorium, it was that big, but you also got to know, we, we, camp, we did campaign style. We had all those bulletin boards at Brockton High back in the day, yep. and we put posters up and all of that, so you, you got to know people. I, was, uh, I managed the swim team. I didn't swim, I wasn't mm -hmm. a competitor, but uh, I managed the swim team, so I knew class of 77, class of 78, class of 79, class of 80, class of 81. The two classes before me and like three classes, you know, w when I came in freshman year, I knew people all the way up to senior. Mm -hmm. And then when I was a senior, I knew them all the way back down to freshman. So uh, I just, I, I met a lot, and I still talk to them. I, my, my father, unfortunately, yeah. just passed away a month ago. Mm -hmm. I had people from kindergarten, from middle school, from Brockton High, they came to the funeral and to support me, and it was really nice. Yeah. I've stuck around here, so people yeah. keep in touch with me, you know? You're great. When we shut off the cameras, can I just bottle you? Absolutely. You, you're gonna be Absolutely. my model alone. Oh, no, no, I really, I'm very supportive of what you're yeah. doing. I think this is great that it's finally formalized, mm -hmm. and I think um, what we, I used those directories for is mm -hmm. when I was out looking for a job, That's and right. there were people from 
University of Miami that might have been able to get my foot in the door for an interview. Right. Maybe not give me the job, but at least I could say, gee, I knew this person. Because in broadcasting, if you don't have someone that opens the you door for you, work. forget it. You don't right. even get the interview. And it was very helpful. Mm -hmm. That's what we think we can develop here. We're, we know we're not going to be able to engage all 60,000 alumni at once. Mm -hmm. My master's thesis was that involved students will become involved alumni. So we're going to promote affinity programming and affinity fundraising. Mm -hmm. Strategically, we're going to work with athletes from teams, members of the marching band, drama club, mm -hmm. student government, people, students who went above and beyond just being students. And those programs, they have an affinity for them. And it doesn't matter what year you were in a club, a group. We're building a database management system that's going to allow us to code all the members of the school paper and all these other groups, art club. And then we hope once we get them engaged, they'll see today's students and want to invest in them. A little I, bit. I think that's great. Now, where are you based? Are you working at the Central? Right now, I'm based in the Central. Okay. Uh, and you get but, this but, cute little magnet right here. We're going to try and be uh, very visible. That's going on. My wife's going to love you because there'll be another magnet that's on my refrigerator, but I love stuff like that. <laughs> and um, I mean, Boxer Pride, when I it's, went there, is still just as strong today as it was back then. Absolutely. You know, we might have changed teams. We had different Thanksgiving Day opponents. The other thing is one thing we can do to help yep. you out is because Brock and Community Access promotes nonprofits, and we're mm -hmm. a nonprofit, we can put some nice little spots for you oh. right in our football games, right in our basketball games, right in the, the hockey games and the different sports that we cover to reach out and let people know that you guys exist. That's terrific. We also want to invite alumni to focus groups. Okay. You we have will, some we, coming up? or We are looking for volunteers right now Okay. to... Help us find out what can alumni do for each other and for today's students. Okay, so they're going to get in touch with you. They're right? going to get in touch with Tell our office. Uh, they can do it at our email address, which is bhsalumni at bpsma.org. Or the alumni office phone number is 508-894-4563. And we want to find out. What would alumni like to do? Do they want to mentor students? Do they want career networking? Mm -hmm. Social networking, more of that? Uh, help us with some political advocacy? Mm -hmm. Not just in Brockton, but we've got over 40,000 graduates living in Massachusetts. That, they could have quite an impact well, politically. When, when Brockton does file that lawsuit dealing mm -hmm. with ed reform, that would be helpful because the members of the legislature that are, you know, they're Brockton people in Andover and, and, and Cambridge yep. and wherever they are, you want them to rally the country. And they've I got gotta, their legislators. I got a minute, believe okay. it or not. So you get the last 30 seconds and I'll, I'll close it up. All right. One of the, the key things I've discovered is that Brockton High is going to be celebrating its 150th anniversary in 2020. Sesquicentennial, I've mm -hmm. heard that word. Okay. A lot of what we're going to be doing in the coming years is building towards that. We will probably produce an alumni directory like you've had at colleges. We're going to do it at the high school level. We'll be planning year-long celebration full of activities, not just here, but where alumni are gathered around the country. We're going to bring you back. We we'll probably have to do a whole half an hour. I've got more. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Thank Thanks. you. Nice. Oh, it's a pleasure. Glad, glad you're here in Brockton. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.